guys! I was asked on how I would convert a Walmart mirror into a bespoke accent table, and luckily enough, I saw someone throwing this away. There was a broken glass at the top, so that's probably why it was being thrown away, but I was super excited because I got hairpin legs for free! I started disassembling the parts just to be sure that all the legs are in good condition. And they all are! And I am super excited because these hairpin legs cost quite a lot. If you go online, you'll see that there are prices depending on the height. And the height that I got for the hairpin legs that were attached to the table is high enough and I know they're gonna cost a lot. And then I got it for free! I spray painted them gold, including the top, and kept it aside. This is a floating shelf that I've had for a very long time and it's really thick and it's really long and I'm so glad that I had this at home because it has just been in the store doing nothing and the dimensions for this floating shelf is perfect for the Walmart mirror. So all I'm going to be doing now is attaching all of the legs to the floating shelf. And I'm using screw nails that I had at home. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here! Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. After attaching all of the legs, this is what it looks like. And of course, you can stop here, but you know me, I have to make it a little bit more dramatic. Now this is a tray that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be making a hole here. You can use a nail and a hammer or you can just drill a hole like I did. I located the middle on the floating shelf and then made a mark and that's where I'm going to be putting the tray. This is kind of low so I had to take it up a little bit. I do apologize for the poor lighting here. Now this is how it looks like when it's like this so I turned it to the back. And then I got wooden dolls from Walmart for 57 cents each. And I spray painted them gold. And now I'm going to be gluing all the dolls connecting them from the tray to the legs. I cut them to different lengths to fit the design and the dolls are not supporting the tray, they're just for decoration alone. After using a hot glue gun to keep them in place, I went round with an E6000 glue. I turned it over and cleaned the tray properly because I will be gluing mirrors on it. I did not do anything to the top here because it will be covered with the Walmart mirror. But I did touch these places with a little bit of gold spray paint. This is the mirror that is going to be glued in the middle right here. And I'll be using a strong adhesive for that. I'm also going to be gluing on 2 inches round mirrors around the mirror in the middle. This is the first row. And I also used an E6000 glue to attach the mirrors to the tray. Now for the second row, I'm using a hot glue gun because it's kind of tricky because I have to make it lean onto the lip of the tray. And so I'm using a hot glue gun to hold it in place first and then I'm going to go around with an E6000 glue. To add to the design, I'm going to be using bamboo skewers that I spray painted gold. And these will be glued in between all of the dowels. I want it to look like a decorative beautiful pendant somewhere in the middle of the table but at the same time giving it like a somber mirror effect. And I will say it again, the dolls and the skewers are meant for decorative purposes only. I will use the smaller mirrors and glue them to the ends of the skewers. The tray is tightly secured on the wood. So these are the sticks that I'm having like the skewers and the dolls are just for decorative purposes only. They are also strong because I did secure them with an E6000 glue. Now to cover up this tray that's showing here, I'm going to be using gems. I later added a few gems to the sticks. I also forgot to tell you guys that I had already glued the Walmart mirror. And what I did was take the Walmart mirror and prepped it for spray painting because I got the black and I spray painted it gold. And this is what it looks like. And then I glued it on top of the table. Moving on to the other part of the table that I disassembled and spray painted gold, I'm going to be using canvas panels and taking just one and cutting it into the size that I need and made two holes here and here. And that's going to be at the middle where the mirrors will be. 
I will pass the zip ties through the hole and around the metal iron to make sure that both pieces are firmly tied together. I did this for both sides. Now the next thing that I did was to glue the mirror to the middle. And I will be gluing more mirrors around it. Here I'm using crab sticks that I will cut to shorter lengths and I'm going to glue them behind the mirror. This is what it looks like and now I have this leftover piece that's really hard from a photo frame. It's like wood actually, or should I say particle board? Really hard and I cut it and glued it at the back using E6000 and a hot glue gun. I turned it over and now I'm going to be gluing on the remaining mirrors to the craft sticks. I made the mirrors overlap with one another to avoid a large space at the end. The next thing that I did was to take the dowels and glue them to the back to make it look just like the one that's on the table. And I cut the dolls to the appropriate length. I used a hot glue gun to glue them down and then went around with an A6000 glue to keep them strong. I also went ahead to add skewers to make it look like the one that's on the table. And then did the same thing with the mirrors and the gems. I want to make the lower part a little bit useful by turning it into a little shelf. And so I took the canvas panels and cut them into the size that I would need. And then took just one of it and gauged how it's going to fit. This is what it should look like. So I'll make a little bit of provision here and here. And I cut out a little bit of hole so that the canvas panel will sit properly. Yay, it's perfect. So I glued them on to the rod and now just to keep three of them leveled, I'm going to be using craft sticks. The canvas panels are being glued on actual iron rods so they're strong enough to hold little knickknacks. So at this point here, and the other point that's here is where I'm going to be hanging my wall decor. And I'll be using nails for that. Now these open spaces that are here, I'm going to be covering them up with mirrors. I will also be using smaller gems to cover up the smaller open spaces. This is what the wall decor with shelving looks like. And then the grand for stroke table is at the bottom. The mirror design that's on the table is really strong and sturdy because I screwed in the tray to the floating shelf that's made out of strong wood. I'm so happy that I picked up this request because for a while now I have always wanted a long table with some glam detail at the bottom. But then of course you can make yours without the mirrors or the dowels. But then for me, I think it makes it stand out and I love the way it looks. I am more excited about the table because it's like my very own statement piece. And I achieved this by converting someone else's trash to my treasure. And I spent just $8 for the entire project because I had a lot of the items used at home. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.